Does this ever happen to you? You go to the kitchen to get something, and when you get there, you can't remember what you came for? You can't remember where you left your glasses, even though you just had them a minute ago? You're out for a walk, and there is someone you know coming towards you, but you can't remember their name. These are common cognitive problems as we grow older, and they are very normal, beginning as early as middle age. Difficulties with this type of memory are especially evident when we are distracted or have other kinds of interference. For example, trying to remember where we left our glasses this time, not last time. And it is particularly problematic in the information age when we are constantly bombarded by distractions and often need to multitask just to call a doctor or pay a bill. New research from Yale Medical School has discovered the cellular basis for why these types of memory get weaker with advancing age. I am Amy Arnston, professor of neurobiology at Yale Medical School. We've been studying how the brain changes with advancing age. With normal aging, there are impairments in the working memory functions of the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the most evolved part of the brain, located just behind our forehead. It is our mental sketch pad, a process called working memory. The prefrontal cortex is essential for our executive functions, allowing us to overcome distractions and interference, and helping us organize and multitask, inhibiting inappropriate thoughts and actions so that we can have thoughtful, goal-directed behavior. Our prefrontal cortices keep things in mind through networks of neurons that excite each other to maintain information, even when there is no information coming from the environment to excite our brains. This network firing is the neural basis of higher cognition. Our paper in Nature shows that these networks have weaker firing with advancing age, explaining our weaker working memory as we get older. This figure shows examples of neurons firing during a working memory task, and you can see that there is a steady decline with advancing age. But our research has also discovered something hopeful, that the firing of the age neurons can be restored by giving them a more optimal neurochemical environment. Prefrontal cortical networks excite each other through synaptic connections on spines small protrusions specialized for receiving information. With advancing age, or with stress exposure when we're young, there is a buildup of a second messenger called cyclic AMP, which can open nearby ion channels and weaken the network connection. Giving medications such as guanfacine that inhibit cyclic AMP in prefrontal spines can strengthen network firing in the aged neurons. Here is an example of an aged neuron that had low firing rates under regular conditions, but was able to increase its firing when guanfacine was applied. Research has shown that there are a number of things we can do to help our cognitive abilities. For example, common sense things like exercise, eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep, and when possible, reducing stress. But of course, many people can't reduce their stress, for example, because they're caring for a loved one who's ill. In this case, it may be that medications might be helpful. Guamfacine is now being tested in a clinical trial at Yale to see if it can improve cognition in older individuals who do not have Alzheimer's disease. If you are interested, please feel free to contact the following.